the Yorkshire Dales and welcome to Horton in Ribblesdale. Something a little bit different today. Yes, we're in the Dales, we're usually up in the peaks. The weather is beautiful today, although surprisingly, it's really rather windy. But I'm out on my own, on my Jack Jones, on the high bike, the e-bike today, trying to get my fitness up before Italy. But enough waffle, I'll find it, you can ride it. Welcome to the Yorkshire Dales. Welcome to Horton in Ribblesdale. We're gonna be going over to Pfizer. We're also gonna be going over for some sneaky snack cake and coffee at a certain place that you'll see, Elaine's Coffee Shop. But enough waffleage, let's get on the bike and let's have a great ride out. Up ahead at the start of this ride, you've got about a mile to get to this point. You've got Simon's Fell Cairn up there. And as we turn around, you're probably gonna recognize that over there, that is Penny Ghent. The mighty penny again over there towards Malham. So yeah, what a beautiful day today. Of course, we're back. We're back on the Ebe today. We're now riding through Ingleborough Nature Reserve. Morning, ladies. That's a mister. So far, very tame. We've been climbing pretty much all the time, but it's nothing that's going to be too much for you, even on a normal mountain bike, so don't let that put you off. So far, it's just so picturesque and just beautiful. And obviously we've got Penny Gent on our left-hand shoulder. Uh, that could be Wernside, I'll check when we get further up. But yeah, very, very picturesque. It's one of the things I really do like about the Dales and the North Yorkshire. It's just got a different terrain to the peaks. And obviously with the Lake District being more of a slaty, sharpy goodness, each one brings something, I think, to the mountain bike table, as it were. Morning ladies, where you going? Good job I've got shin pads on, my god! Wow, that gave me a right whack on the shin! Whew. Yes, some of these rocks are very loose. There you go, how fine it you can ride it. There's my first piece of advice for this ride. It may be beautiful, but you really do want shin pads on and elbow pads. Wow, I can't believe how hard that hit my shin then. My mate Rob has recently been out for a ride on his own. Bit of a pathfinder job for one of my future Patreon rides and uh, came off and he's gashed his shin up really badly. Thought his shoe was wet. Pissing out blood. So there you go, people. Get some shin pads, preferably all the way as far down to the ankle as you can get. Better to be safe than sorry. I've not seen that before. Anybody know what that means? Looks like no walkers, or does it mean do not go off the main beaten path? If you know what that is, well, I know what that is. Beware the bull. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. Don't want any front brake on. Christ. Whew. So damn rocky. Fun. 
As many of you know, I've had COVID recently and I've had it really quite bad and I've been at an absolute low ebb. Not wanting to get off that sofa, not wanting to go out for a ride and I've really had to have a word with myself. It seems that COVID affects different people in different ways. It absolutely knocked me for six, ended up in hospital. And some people I know are already in hospital. Some have just got a snivelly nose and a cough. But I've got to get my fitness back up because I'm doing finale in Italy. And I want to be fit for that for seven days riding in a row. So no excuse really. But what a beautiful ride here today. Anyway, enough of that. Time to get bums in saddles. The wind's picking up. Hopefully we're at the top now and we should have some downhill. Come on, Heidi number two. We need to get a name for her. Any suggestions, let me know. <laughs> As we get to the bottom of that little rocky technical bit, just be careful on that bit. You may be able to see down into the valley there. Maybe not quite over the wall. But we are top side of Grassington. And we actually did a ride based off Single Track magazine once. And it was absolutely terrible. Riding off footpaths, having to lift your bike over styes, all that garbage. And as I've said before, a mountain bike magazine should not be promoting, or any rider out there, promoting riding on footpaths. You know my feelings on that, and as a qualified mountain bike leader, you will not see me riding on footpaths, being an arsehole, throwing litter, or riding where I shouldn't, and ripping the trails up by skidding everywhere, unless it's absolutely, absolutely necessary. Run it over. Just beautiful. So we're going to be heading on to Crummock's Lane as we get to the bottom here. This is quite new for me, this section. Usually I turn right at the bottom here. So we shall find out together where we're heading. That coffee and cake is the allure of coffee and cake. As you know, many of my Patreon rides, we always try to get coffee and cake in. Just so enjoyable. As we get further into this ride, you'll notice this is why I call it the battle lines. Some of the single track that's coming up looks a little bit overgrown, but as we get further and further into this back three quarters of the ride, it was so overgrown that the brambles were almost hiding the path underneath, making it a little bit dodgy, not being able to see if there was any rocks or anything else coming up. So do be aware of that if you're going to ride this at speed. And my wrists were bleeding, pouring blood out, all scratched. So you might want to think about that before you blast down here at full speed. What you can see on screen now isn't so bad, but it's about to get worse. Sneaky bit single track. It's hard to actually see what's coming up. Now listen here you lot, when I say this trail's slightly overrun, or overgrown even, I'm not kidding. <laughs> We've just got to blaze our own trail through here. And of course you've got to watch out for the bloody brambles, bloody grot you, which means throat slip basically. <laughs> what an adventure, what the hell, wasn't expecting this. Oh, you stinging little morphos! It's like an obstacle course. I don't know whether to look at the brambles, the trail. Oh, you! Oh, holy crap! <laughs> Stinging metal tastic. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, and as you can see, we're bleeding even more now. Yeah, it adds character. It adds character. Fun 
done that, some of my arms have got blood on them. Um, especially on the underneath there, scratches and stuff. Those brambles are absolutely deadly. So be prepared to have a few battle scars after this ride, if you're gonna come and do it in summer. This is what we like, all these sneaky little bat lanes. Love this sort of stuff. It feels like an adventure, if that makes sense, rather than being just up on the moors. Love it. So we're heading on now on the kind of like the back half of this ride. And that's the allure of coffee and cake is up ahead. <laughs> Well, I've got to say, I am going to do a review on this ride as we get to the back end. But I know most of my viewers, you watch two and a half minutes, which is so destroying when I put so much effort into these videos. I just don't have the personality or the interesting content to keep you there. I know. Morning ladies. There is a lens tea shop or tea rooms. We're not actually going to stop today, I think. I think we'll just move on. It's very busy. And I don't want to leave my bike outside. Although this is not the sort of place you're going to get your bike nicked, is it? Let's be honest. I really have enjoyed today. It just shows you that you don't always need to go out and do the really fast technical downhill super fast into the mountains to enjoy yourself. Today has been very tame compared to what we usually ride. But I've got to say, I've really, really enjoyed today. It's not over yet, we've got a fair bit to do. These beautiful bridleways and just being out in the Yorkshire Dales or well, North Yorkshire just makes you, I don't know, I can't describe it. I kind of wanted a little bit of, and maybe there is some on the rest of this trail, but so far, don't not do a ride or a cross country ride because you think it's going to be too tame because you never know, you might really, really enjoy it. So up there we've got Muckton, which is this kind of like this little bit sticking out over there. Obviously over there we've got Penny Ghent. Just below it, which is kind of hard to see, is Hebear Hill. And as we get over there, we've got Fountains Fell and Fountains Fell South Top, which is over there. So there you go, Penny Ghent. There's the one that we usually end up riding around. Cattle grid. So as our ride starts to come to a close here as we come from Sizer all the way back down into Horton in Rivelsdale, it's a ride that's not overly technical. You can do this as a blue and a red. I would wear shin pads because some of those rocks can be quite loose at pace. As I found out, it was one of those rocks actually knocked my foot off the pedal it hit it that hard, so luckily I had the shin pads on. And if you want to cover your arms up, some of those trails will absolutely... Well, the brambles are so overgrown that it absolutely rips your arms to pieces. I had blood running down my arm where the brambles got hold of me. But each to their own. If you don't want to wear your pads, that's your choice. But such a beautiful ride today. I really wasn't in the mood to go out after having COVID. But now I've actually made the effort, had a word with myself, got off that sofa and got out. I really enjoyed this ride. You don't always need to be up in the mountains doing gnarly stuff. 
I really enjoyed this as a cross-country ride and I hope you've enjoyed the journey as well. Of course the GPX file will be available if you want to download this. If you want to buy me a cup of coffee or you want to become a Patreon and come out with some of the riders and be featured in some of my videos then all those details are in that box below as well. I'm hoping to do some more Yorkshire Dale rides because I just love it as a Yorkshireman but most of the Patreons they live around the peaks. Anyway, enough waffle from me. I'll find it, you can ride it, and I shall see you in some more videos coming real soon. Bye-bye.